I love how you just put the finger that you were sucking into our water for our bread. Ew, look at Panty's hot. <laughs> yeah, it's hot. Hi guys, no. welcome back to my channel. What? It is Janice from Words no. to My Daughter and I'm back with another video for you guys. So we're gonna see how this goes because this one loves to talk when the camera's on. We are here today with our first episode of Ezzy's Bake Oven. I never thought that my first episode would be me baking bread with my daughter, but it was requested. I got a few requests on my Instagram after seeing me bake some homemade bread that turned out amazing. So I have the easiest bread recipe ever in life for you today. If you're interested in seeing the easiest bread recipe with no stand mixer or mixer at all necessary, no kneading necessary, then just keep on watching. And welcome to Ezzy's Bake Oven, episode one. You ready? Yeah. Yeah? The easiest recipe with only four ingredients, guys, four, that's it. So you're gonna need three cups of flour, and I usually like to use like an organic, um, unbleached flour, but you know, grocery stores are in shambles right now. And then we have two teaspoons of instant yeast, as well as two teaspoons of salt, and we're gonna be using a cup and a half, about a cup and a half of warm water. And the way you make sure your water isn't too hot so that it doesn't kill the yeast is to test it on your wrist. As long as it's bearable on your wrist, then you should be good to go. You're also gonna need a large bowl. So what we're gonna do is just add all the ingredients together. All right, you ready? Here, you gotta pour the flour. Here. Gotta pour the flour in the bowl. Ready? One, two, three. So, got all the flour into the bowl. Cool, huh? And then we're just gonna add the yeast and salt. Ready to pour? Pour, yeast say yeast and salt. Yeah! I'm gonna test this out. I stopped it right before, oh, it might be a little too warm. I stopped it before boiling. Check. Good girl. You're doing so good. You're a natural baker, huh? Thank you. Mix, mix, mix. You ready? Oh, you want to pour too? Okay. Good girl. Mix, mix, mix. So that's one cup, and we're going to do another half. So I'm just going to mix it, baby. There went half the batter. Go, go, go. At the end of this, you're going to want a sticky, like wet batter. It's not going to be very floury. Pour the rest. Ready? Mix, mix, mix. Good girl. If you guys are interested in cooking and baking with us, this stool we got from Amazon is perfect to have your little ones in the kitchen with you. They're perfect, they're safe, they go all the way around so it's easy for your kids to not fall. You don't have to sit them on the counter. So it's, it's a really good purchase. So I'll have that linked down in the description box below if you guys are interested in purchasing that and then being able to bake and cook with us in the future episodes. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> use the muscle. Use that muscle. Oh, you got to use two hands. Oh, switching hands. Your other hand got tired. All right. So basically, you want to be left with something like this. You can see it's extremely sticky. It's wet. It's not a lot of flour. So that is what you want. Take some of that off the handle there. And, oh, you wanna keep holding that? And then you're just gonna cover it with a towel, plastic wrap, whatever, fold your boat. Watch out, baby. Oh, let me put this on there. Gonna cover that, and you're gonna let this rise for two to three hours. You want it to double in size. I've been letting it um, rise for about two hours and that's been perfect for us but you know you can determine that when you take a look at it after two hours if you need to go another hour we'll be back in another two to three hours 
Alright guys, so we're back. It is actually three hours later because we decided to watch yeah. the challenge. Hello, it's Wednesday. Ideally, you would want to preheat your oven to 450, about 10 minutes or so before your dough finishes rising. You're going to want a Dutch oven or a Dutch oven or just a big pan of some sort that also has a lid. You're actually going to put both the pan and the lid into the oven while it's preheating. Alright, so let's take a look at our dough, shall we? You ready? Do the unveiling. Lift it. So our dough has risen. What we're going to do is, you can either use parchment paper or you can use what I'm going to use. So this is just a little reusable silicone mat that I got from Amazon. I will link it down below if you guys are interested in these as well. You know, sustainable life less waste so ideally <laughs> ideally you want to add a little bit of flour onto the surface just to help you as far as the stickiness is concerned so we're just going to now with clean hands dump your dough onto your parchment paper or whatever you're using look at it wow it's dough so you're just going to now flip the sides in, like nothing extreme, just kind of make it into a bit of a ball, like so. And once you get that, you're just going to take it and flip it over and kind of like shape it as best you can into a ball. It doesn't need to be perfect because this is like a rustic bread. When you get it into this kind of oval shape, then you're all done, literally. So our oven is preheated and this is hot. Okay, so she's staying back for now. So we're just gonna lift this lid off. Let's put it on this. And then you're going to take your dough and your mat or parchment paper and just place it right inside of your Dutch oven. Gonna add that lid back on. Gonna let this bake for 30 minutes with the lid on and then 12 minutes without the lid. So we'll be back in 42 minutes. <laughs> so we're back. If you see the difference in lighting, it's because it's midnight. No, I'm just kidding. The lighting's a lot different because it's a lot later, so we have the kitchen lights on. But our bread is ready, so let's get it out of the oven. So here we are with our beautiful bread, okay? Let this sit for 10 minutes. You wanna make sure the inside finished doing what it needs to do and that it's not doughy, you know, in the middle. So you're gonna let that sit for 10 minutes. I know it's gonna be hard, cause bro, it smells so good. But you gotta do it if you want good bread. So in 10 minutes, we'll go ahead and take a nice slice out of this crunchy, coated, soft interior. Easy, four ingredient, no need, no stand mixer, stand mixer, bread. Can you hear that crunch, bro? Mm, it's nice and soft in the middle. And I have here some lightly salted raw butter. It's organic pastures. It's a good quality butter. We're just gonna take a nice what? What? helping onto this bread. Melting because it's nice and yeah. warm. And we're gonna do a taste test. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> Maybe you already ate. What's that side that look? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I had some requests for this bread. It's so easy. I hope you guys find it easy. Comment down below if you plan on making this bread. And if you do, tag me on Instagram. Let me know how easy it was and that you appreciate my life for making your life easier. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in on our first episode of Ezzy Bake Oven. <laughs> We have more of these coming soon. We're gonna be baking, we're gonna be cooking, and this little one is gonna join me on the adventure, or I'm gonna join her since she's the star of the show. 
But if you like this video, don't forget to like it. Follow me on Instagram if you're into food, health, fitness, and motherhood. But I'm gonna go ahead and say bye because I'm sleepy, she's sleepy, and it's time for us to get ready for bed. Bye!